Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out on the Citadel. We're in the basement of the keep here in West Hill. And uh, we have the checklist to continue with today. Thanks to Mindtrip Media for the 100 bits and the lurk to kick off the stream. Really appreciate it. Cosmic Dancer, Grandpa Crafter are also here hanging out. Always a good time. I have to change something about my OBS. I was logged out of Streamlabs when I first logged in and it feels like it's displaying things too broadly. I'm not sure what's going on here. Is it a, no, it's not a width, not a column width thing. They waste so much space at the top of Streamlabs for stuff. I'll have to mess with this later. It just it's uh, the lines are like four or five lines thick, so it means I don't see as much. Anyway, I'll worry about that later. So we have the book. Uh, where did my mouse go? So the keep main hall decor, main hall mezzanine, uh, this all has to be done last, I think, because it would involve removing a lot of this stuff. Uh, there is the keep kitchen. So I have to add the kitchen. Uh, the north gate, uh, we can't remove some of those tables and chairs, so that's a problem. Was not able to check those off. I can walk by them again today and see if the reboot overnight changed anything. West Hill Valley Crossroads, so that includes signs, wagons, and points of interest out front. And that might be what we attempt to do today. Riverbanks. Been doing a lot of those. Potato farm, fishing dock, and riverbank details. Those are done. We can check that off. I thought I already checked that off. West over River North, West Riverbanks. Those are also finished. Maybe I checked them off, but I didn't hit done when I was in the book. Maybe I didn't save it. Do that now. So I guess we'll do keep basement distillery. Uh, we also have the kitchen quarters. We could probably do that today. Hunter triple five and wafer knight. Hello, hello. Sweet Sandy resubscribed. Tier one, 39 months. One more month, the big 4 -oh. Thanks so much, Sweet Sandy. Does anybody know how to hide the top bit of your um, OBS Streamlabs window? Feels like that's the best I can do. It feels like it's a Almost like it's an oversized mobile app for the desktop. You know how sometimes when you look at a mobile app on a desktop, it feels kind of bloated? Like everything's got air in it. All right, let's just go take a look.
I'll stop by this place here at the front and see if we can't replace a table and chair here. No. Oh. Nope. I can't get rid of it. So annoying. Get rid of those either. If I chop this, do I get it back? Well, at least I get the tables back. Yeah, cannot hit the chair. So here is the crossroads. I'm not keeping the circle. The circle is more here for a design tool like I wanted to see kind of like where they would cross and what would be a nice natural kind of curve off in a different direction I may even push that a little bit more um we do need some more street lights because this place gets pretty dark I don't think we're ever going to get street lights although it like light all the way into the middle here so one of the things I think would be good is somewhere around here I feel like we should have a sign and it should point like towards West Hill, Western Bridge, East Bridge, West, West Hill River Inn. And we can do that with hanging signs. If you hang them by a single um, point, then you can kind of orient them in different directions. Whereas a hanging sign similar to that fence gate is just like a dead straight. So we could do a combo of both. Uh, so it could be maybe like a stone thing like that. It could be a wood thing. Probably a stone thing would look better. The tricky part would be how do we get the signs to hang the right way? And then I guess we could do like some sort of like wagon stop or something along the side here. Same thing with um, this other path over here. I feel like we could have maybe a footpath that cuts across this way. That would make sense. And then I feel like because this is here, maybe there wouldn't be as much going on on this side. I kind of feel like a lot of this needs more dirt along the edges. And then here, I just, I have no idea what's happening here. This is just a weird field. Probably another tree or two. So yeah, we can probably try that. Let's get some stone, some wood. I'm tempted to try and fix some of the tables and chairs around, but I know it's just going to be frustrating. Grab those. We'll grab those. Probably going to need the woods.
bring that with me just in case. How are we doing for supplies in this? I feel like I was running low on some things. We are... We're good on the mud. Mud, mud bricks, rooted dirt. We use that a lot. I don't tend to use the podzol very much. I think the only thing missing from this box that should be in here is gravel. Kind of like a one-stop shop. I always seem to want gravel and don't have it. that we will probably need the bushes that was bizarre that was like super loud. That sounded like something exploded. Is that a four horsemen explosion? We've got fire tick turned off, so nothing was going to get destroyed. I don't think. I don't see any issues. Don't see any bad guys either. I think I have everything. We'll see. Uh, first I'll fix these tables. So that's at least done. I still don't know what to do about the chairs. And I think it was this other place. I think I couldn't put a table down in this other spot. Armor stand was in the way, I think. Yeah. can't make the chair get fixed anyway. Uh, do, 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 do. So we'll set up, I guess, in the middle here. It seems like the easiest spot, right?
Oh, I didn't bring the stone. Crap. Definitely this. That should be everything, I think. <clears throat> Okay, so if I was going to put a sign here, say probably about here. Yeah, probably there. So my first thought is to go with something. These are in the wrong order. It's that tint that threw me off in the, uh, the hot bar. So my first kind of inclination is to do something like this. And I don't know what color sign we're gonna use. I feel like if the lighter the sign, the better. Harder to see the writing otherwise. We'll come up with maybe a better shape later on wait a minute how do you get is it sh you have to shift click yeah so that's what i mean if you want a straight sign you can do it that way but if you wanted more on the same sort of thing actually let's just use these So I could put another sign here. I don't know how well that works. So here we'd be like, I don't really have a way to do anything too fancy. I need to look up some Unicode, I think, maybe. Thankfully, we can edit these, so it's not a big deal. So I guess you'd want to have like West Hill. So maybe, oh no.
west of east road that feels a little low we might have to hang those higher yeah editable signs are so much better i agree i agree so this is i'm mostly working on scale Do these fall off? Yes. We could also try this kind of sign. So that's a little slimmer. Weird, why am I, why is that not showing the texture? That's odd. So that might be a better way to do it. Certainly a lot less cumbersome than that, right? And if we wanted to, we could add trapdoors or other things. Uh, let's go spruce. Hobo skunk, hello, hello. Welcome in. Ranger, good to see you. I feel like that's pretty good. Unicode arrows for quick reference. Oh, cool. So do I have to like put that on the number pad? How does that work? 2190. PC, it's usually alt plus the number pad dial. So that's 2190 with alt. So these are not arrows. So I'm not sure why my PC would be different. That feels pretty good. We could also narrow that down a bit. It's gonna match those a little bit better. So even if I doubled up on this, I need more hanging signs. Oh, 
Oh, it's the other kind of strip log? That's annoying. I need to make a better recipe for that. I think it should be able to be something you can make with any strip log, not just the ones with the ends on them. So that doesn't look too bad, right? Depending on what you needed to, to tell people, you know? might be better for that to actually be solid. So just quickly. Uh, hmm. Western slopes, uh, what could the, this is just the North road. There's no other kingdoms out this way. So like, I don't, there's no way to say like, you know, if the cosmic kingdom was up here, I could put like a cosmic sign, but, um, And then here we would have maybe Mestel River in. Or East Road. And then West Hill. I feel like that's kind of fun and asymmetrical. I don't think I want this to be a solid block. No, I think it looks better. A little lighter. Maybe the top one could be solid. Or maybe the top one could be different kind of wood. That's kind of cool. Ancients coming in with the raid. Party of five. Thanks so much for coming in. Hope you're having a good day so far. We are working on some signs. Just roughly. Roughing in some signs out here. I feel like I might want to move that closer to the road, actually. I feel like that might be better up here. Or maybe even right on the road. Yeah, that way I could put like a path going behind it, perhaps. Matt B, good to see you.
folks, if you have not already, uh, go follow Ancients on Twitch and see what they're up to. And Ancients, if you have a minute, let us know what you're doing on stream. And if not, no worries. I know that often people have to raid and run. Real life. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, if I move that then back here, we could have a little like footpath maybe. I feel like that works. Maybe this has to be kind of in between. Yeah, and then we could have grass or something in front of it. It's probably the best spot for it. I think I like the spruce roof on it, or the spruce top. I don't know. I guess maybe I should think about how I can include a lantern in there too. Ancients did a bit of digging on their stream. Did some redesigning of the classic Ender Ender design. Traded it in a trading hall. All around good session, sounds like. Very cool. I guess for something different, we could leave that one sort of like that. Hmm. So I can't have, I remember this before. Can you do, no, you have to shift click in order to not. Doesn't work either. I wanted that hanging off of the trap door, but I think I remember we couldn't do it. It was a thing we tried before, but it's just not possible. Maybe this has to be 
trapdoor. Yeah, I just it looks like a tree to me, so I'm trying to make it not not look like a tree. I think maybe one of the ways to do that would be to either take this a little bit higher. Yep. And I'll go with what do I want at the top of that? Probably on Andes site, maybe. Hmm. The slab too. Blast Jordan. Hello, hello. It does need some sort of top on it. That's not bad. I don't think I want to make this stone. No, that feels a little top heavy. I wonder if it's better with only trapdoors. Nope. I think that's pretty good for now. I certainly like the position of it. A little bit closer to the road. I know it's only one block forward, but I feel like it makes it a little bit more accessible. It certainly stands out against the background. Uh, I'm not married to that lamp being there. Maybe we move the lamp. I mean, the lamp could benefit from being a block farther south. I guess they're really not going to overlap that much. They just, they feel kind of close together. It feels like this would have its own lamp, right? Like I feel like this back here would end up being something very similar. a little bit too low. It would feel it feels funny to put the 
the, the sign to Westell on the back because you'd expect it to be more on the front. Maybe I'm just putting this in the entire wrong place. Maybe it should be over on this side. Yeah, maybe it has to be over here. I like the design better anyway. Where did I put it? Uh, one, two. I feel like that might be better. That might be better. Thankfully, it's not a very big build, so. Redoing it a couple of times is not the end of the world. I really wish you could put them on walls. Be nicer. Uh, let's see here. We'll need a light on it, but I feel like that's a better spot. I think four would be overkill. I think one in each corner would be overkill. I 
I feel like this peels pretty natural. If you were in a wagon, you'd probably take this curve to turn right. And if you're on foot, then this might be more the way that you go. Might be a little bit too wide, but we can fix that. Yeah, I think I like that better. Because that way you're getting the instructions on where to go before you get to the intersection. And then if you're coming this way, I guess you just have to pay attention to look for it. So this would be, I'm just going to do this real quick. And we can do that on both sides too, right? Maybe we don't need this one if that's the case then. Yeah, I think that works. It's the kind of thing I don't want to do the final sign design on until I'm done moving it around, right? I like it spaced out like that. And then maybe, maybe here we just throw in a lantern. It'll be a little bit clearer with arrows, I think. Outside of an actual arrow, which I could do, put an armor stand in an arrow and have it floating on the sign, because we've done that before. Where's a good example? Um, I think we've done it over here. Yeah, so like I can put something on an armor stand and have it floating up on the sign like that. So I could put an arrow and have it be along the bottom, like right about there. Have the top three lines for the info and then have the arrows pointing in the right directions. I think that could be kind of cool. It's too bad we don't have like a weather vane thing. I know you can use iron bars, but I'd have to go up two, I think. 
they don't quite sell it if it's too small a scale. Plus my stuff, Z fights. I need to fix that. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's really odd. It's got something to do with the vanilla tweaks texture pack. An artsy question, says CJ. Is there a difference between a tint shift and a hue shift when we're th working with colors? Yep. Very big difference. I will illustrate. Oh, how can I illustrate this? Concrete, probably the easiest way. Sure. Uh, gray. Some stone. And where terracotta? So these are not going to match up in terms of the labels, but you'll get the idea. Uh, I might want to use something darker. So even though it's not exact because Minecraft blocks are a little bit weird, um, a tonal shift is something that refers to light and shadow so for example there's a tonal shift in the texture between out here and in there so it's the same hue range it's the same brown range but it's darker so here it's the same thing this is the same gray range for the sake of argument but this gets darker and then it gets darker still but it's all still the same sort of medium gray right uh here are a bunch of different terracotta blocks that are they're called gray like white light gray and well cyan but um from here to there it's roughly the same tone but it's a hue shift so hue refers to a shift on the color wheel so a shift from uh, gray or blue ish to pink that's a hue shift and you can have a hue shift without really changing your tone. Um, I mean, yellow and orange is a good example. So here are two very bright blocks. They are darn near the same tonal level, but there's a hue shift, right? There's a lot, there's more, more towards red, right? So if I grab concrete powder, so that's a shift in hue. Technically, there's a shift in tone as well. If, if you looked at this, a really good way to do it actually is take a screenshot, uh, do like a color, color wheel thing in Minecraft. Like take something that's all the same texture like concrete powder or, or hard concrete, like whatever you want, uh, stone, all that kind of stuff. And if you have access to a photo editor like Affinity Photo or Photoshop or something like that, then go in and adjust the levels and remove all of the saturation and just make a black and white, a pure black and white um, image. And you'll see the colors that are very similar in tone because you won't be able to tell them apart, just like someone that's colorblind. And so you'll see the tonal shifts. So you'll know very clearly, like for example, if I drop down, I do have dark blue. Okay, so here is something that is, you know, that's a lot 
darker in tone and a different hue than the yellow, right? So we've got a hue shift and a tonal shift. Like if you took a screenshot of that and dropped the saturation, then this would be closer to white and this would be closer to gray, right? And even then, it's not nearly as dark. Well, that might be a tie. I would say this is the one that would be the, the darkest in terms of the darkest tone. Oh yeah, that's darker than that for sure. Sometimes you have to put things next to each other. Sometimes it's really hard to see. Right? Do I have another one of those? I do. So this is darker than both, but these two are really close. Does that answer your question? Does that make sense? Super helpful explanations to see there. Good. Uh, you can usually, a really good thing to mess around with, like I said, if you've got any kind of photo editor, then you can actually grab the sliders, grab the hue sliders and grab the tone sliders and watch what happens. Terra, that's terracotta. Uh, great concrete. And I've just had a lot of practice with it, just as an artist, trying to choose blocks and things and colors and drawings and all that kind of stuff to help make it all work together. So a really good example that I was working with and struggling with before in the real world, like in a real build context, was this used to be stone. So this used to be all stone bricks. And I didn't think there was enough of a tonal shift between the what is really a light gray, it's not white, it's a light gray in the concrete powder and the calcite. And it just went to a medium gray, right? Like it used to be, used to be these bricks. So like if I can get a good angle here, there, uh, sort of, I get lower? No, okay. Anyway, you can sort of see it here with the quartz, right? That's not much of a shift, whereas this is from the white to the to the deep slate. And so my solution to this feeling kind of washed out was making the bottom a darker tone, increasing the contrast. There's a really good spot there. Nicholas M. Boss, when has that ever worked? Out of curiosity. Is it just a statistics thing? Like, do you just do that until someone says, sure, you can join my seven-year-old world. I trust you, stranger on the internet. Mm, concrete. See you later, Nicholas. Don't let the band hammer hit you on the way out. Thanks for being awesome, Cosmic. Uh, oh, that uh, I am overdue for a break, says Cosmic Dancer, so I shall jump on that right now. I wanted to finish that explanation for CJ. But thanks very much. Appreciate the reminder. Cool. If you're new to the channel, folks, I take a break every hour for about five or six minutes. It is about that time, so I'll be back in just a few.
Looks pretty good coming from this way too. Kind of lines up with the other lights. I didn't realize it. I don't think I put it straight across from the other light. No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. I'm not crazy about where the lantern is. Maybe we have to extend that over this side instead. I think I like that better. Plus, it does, does a little bit more coverage here. Well, maybe we don't need it. I like the asymmetry of it. Yeah. Now, out of curiosity, I wonder if I can get away with adding a little bit more detail with some signs. Prowl with the raid. I'm not hearing any, why am I getting text on the screen? You guys seeing this? What's up on, what's happening with Streamlabs? It's like my raid is not functioning. What's going on here? Yeah, that's is that new in the last couple of minutes? I'm assuming somebody would have told me that sooner, right? Uh, what is that? So it's the cheers and bits and the raids. So whatever Streamlabs has done has broken my alerts. That's annoying. I feel like my subs are still working. Nope, I can't replay any notifications. Uh, looks like Streamlabs is somehow offline. Yeah, uh, the web server for Streamlabs is not responding. Hmm. So it's not a me problem. That's a that's a web server problem. I had the same issue uh, last night. I was watching Apple TV Plus, which is normally very good and uh, totally totally bonked on me. Uh, anyway, sorry. Uh, Prowl, what's up? Thanks very much for sharing your people. Uh, coming in with a raid party at thirty seven. I got to scroll back in Twitch chat here. Uh, you know what to do, pillage, plunder, steal everything that's not nailed down. Fun, fun, fun. What were you up to on stream today, Prowl? It's, do it's going well, thanks. We have been working on a sign so far today. We're just kind of noodling around here in the, in the crossroads, trying to do, trying to fill in these gaps. So we've got these spaces sort of here, 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 and there. So I'm trying to figure out how to make it look functional for people coming into this area. And so that's what we've got so far. What were you up to on stream? Welcome in everyone. Thanks very much for 
all of the follows. Appreciate it. Sorry, I can't hear the notifications. Looks like Streamlabs is down today. The ticker is still accurate, though. MindTrip Media is still up there. I feel like I feel like the follows are accurate. Is Sweet Sandy? Yeah, Sweet Sandy's the latest sub, so at least the leaderboard is still working. Prowl was working on his mega base. Big hole in the ground. Lore is a futuristic civilization. Time traveled back to big area and intentionally incorporating nature and overgrowth. Oh, very cool. I'm thinking about doing like a solar punk area. I think that'd be kind of fun too. I like what Pearlescent Moon is doing on Hermitcraft this year. Pity Ball, hello. Welcome in, folks. Thanks for all the follows. So yeah, I like that. And I think I want to try and take some coarse dirt just to cement these paths a little bit better. Uh, I do need some more grass, though. Didn't bring that. And thanks very much for the compliments on the world. It's been about three and a half years in the making, this area. It's a multiplayer server and there are other places, but this area is all mine. So I've been here for quite some time. If you're new to the stream, if you're coming in with that prowl raid and you've not heard of me or been familiar with the stream at all, uh, I co-host and uh, co-produce the Spun Chunks podcast with, uh, with Pixarifs. And this is the Citadel that I talk to talk about on that show quite a lot. And it is a lightly modded server with uh, mods for uh, quality of life and mostly technical performance stuff. I guess we'll just do coarse dirt for now. Okay, so alerts and leaderboard updates are down, just FYI. Okay, um, the alerts are not working, but the bits came in. Cosmic Dancer, thanks very much for the 100 bits. Uh, your name is now changed on the top right-hand corner there, so you're the most recent bits, so the leaderboard is working. Yeah. It's just that the alerts are not. It is slow. Yeah, I saw your message of don't mind me, I'm testing bits for alerts before the bits actually showed up in Twitch chat. Like I saw your message long before I saw the little number. Really wish we can get the shulker box content icons on Bedrock. So this is a mod. This, this is a mod. You'd have to wait for a Bedrock add-on. Um, I also really like the... Um, this one, this is a, that's a mod. Yeah, this is a mod too. I think it's a mod. Unless it's a data pack. I don't remember. This is, this might be a data pack. I think it's a mod. Hold on. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Tooltip, it's a mod.
don't know if the functionality is accessible yet in add-ons. It might not be because um, it might have to wait for the new new version of Minecraft to come out. It might be something that they can do now that there's updates coming. Now is in like in the next version of Minecraft. <laughs> Streamlabs is having a breakdown. Yeah. All those do my best. Um, moderators, if you wouldn't mind, if I miss any bits or anything in chat. Uh, or any subs because of the notification not going off. If you could just maybe quote it and tag me just so I can see the highlighted message in chat, I'd appreciate it. So I think this is going to have to change its shape a little bit. This is difficult with, with this here. That seems to make sense. I feel like this has to be just a little bit bigger. And I think here I'm going to elongate it a little bit. Feels pretty natural, I think. Feels a little bit weird here. It's better. We are in sunflower plains, I want to say. Yeah. So one of the things you can do with this uh, mod from Iskal 85s team, you can put items on your shulker boxes, but blocks look really dumb. So I've not done anything that have blocks in it. Uh, they appear on the top as if they're in an item frame. And so slabs don't lay flat. They point out in a weird way. So I've not yet installed the data pack that I know is available, um, but will break with the next update, which is uh, to... Um, To re you can rename items with just um, by changing the code or something. And I've seen people in Hermitcraft do it with like sticks. And so you change the texture of a stick to the texture of stone and then you put that on the on the shulker box. Exumavoid did it and it looks really cool. But I didn't want to go through all the bother of all that work of organizing stuff only to have it not work. Um, 
in the next couple of weeks. Oh, that's gonna that's not gonna work. Let's put that over there. Have to try not to get too carried away going that way because that, that road could end up changing. about that. Cool. And then over here. Maybe a little bit too much of a straight line. I feel like that looks pretty good. drop some of the stone stuff I don't need. Oh, did I? Yeah, I need to put this on the top. Yeah, 
that's better. Oh, boo, good to see you. Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. It's weird not having notifications. <laughs> it's, it's a little strange. It feels super eerie silent. Something I've gotten used to using in path design now is um, mangrove. It's got just a little bit of a green twist to it. I might reverse those. It's a little dark, isn't it? Maybe here. I do really like rooted dirt alongside either the moss or the green concrete powder. That tends to work very well. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm kind of lightening up the edges so that the middle feels a little bit more trodden, a little bit more muddied up. See, that's probably it. I don't want to overdo it. No, nope, that's just too dark. leave it. What I 
could do there is maybe a button or something. That's better. Get a little andesite. We should be good. Just roughing up the edge of the road so it looks like it's had some wear and tear over the years and years. And plus, you can use the texture to kind of draw people's eye in that way, right? Yeah, so that works. I'll just do the other side. Here we could even push some of this stuff farther in there and maybe pull a little of the dirt out this way. Uh, that's a little bit too smooth, maybe. And maybe this is a little bit too much.
So same idea. Kind of curving the texture just a little bit to the right, just to kind of say, hey, look, there's some cool stuff that way. Do you plan to do other signposts like this inside the town? Uh, I don't know, actually. So that's the thing. We didn't have hanging signs when I planned a lot of the roads in the town. So it's not a bad idea. I'm trying to think about where I would put it. There's definitely lampposts that could have signs. So for example, this could have some signs, right? Like there could be a sign, although it's kind of going to be hidden. But I guess we could put a sign over here. This feels kind of funny straight on. So actually having something off on the side of that would probably work out well. Unfortunately, it's not going to attach to anything. And you can't hang them off of that. Although, no, I guess you couldn't do that, could you? Yeah, we'd have to figure out a way to do it. I guess a trapdoor? That doesn't attach either. So yeah, either either that kind of a thing or something separate. Like there's room for something here. You know? We could figure something else there. Like this whole thing could be part of the wall. You know? Like we could have a small design here and just have the sign right in there. So put that there and then design some cool stone thing over top of it. And then it could just be just, you know, say like this, the West Hill Keep or something up this way or whatever. I'm not sure what, what directions I would put, but yeah, there's definitely some space. My computer is ringing. I do mute my phone when I stream, obviously, but uh, unfortunately my Mac will ring when my phone rings, if they're in the same vicinity, I guess. It's a cool feature if you're sitting at the computer and you you just want to answer at the computer. Although I don't find it works as well as it should. That feels kind of similar. Let's go gravel. Again, I'm trying not to get too carried away going up that way because that whole farm entrance is going to need its own, its own design, I think. All right, I'd say that's pretty good.
I really wish we had tools on a different bar. I think that would make a huge difference. We were talking about the new enchantments on the mace on the latest episode of the sponge chunks. Um, I'm really indifferent because I don't really care about the mace. I'll talk about it on the podcast just for conversation's sake, but I not a PVE guy. So I really, I don't think the mace is really anything of super high interest to me. So um, the fact that they made it more powerful with enchantments is interesting. I feel like that's, they're gearing it up for something. I don't know what it is. I'm more interested in the fact that the heavy core, the, the part of the mace, um, is does nothing but is part of the mace. That, that to me seems strange. Nope, I guess we'll just leave it as core start. Actually, I'll put that in here. Feels a little bit even. All right, I guess we'll call that done for that corner. That works pretty well. Yeah, I'm all right with that. We'll have to wait and see uh, what happens with this farm to figure out what's going to happen with this little lane that pops out here. It may get wider, it may get thinner. We'll have to see. But I've got some room on this side if I need to, and I can also curve it a little bit different if I need to as well. It does feel like it's a little bit off here, so we'll have to see. I have to add in the other layer too, because I think at the time I didn't have my textures working for my coarse dirt slabs. So I'll have to see. I mean, you can place everything down as a decoration, insane value, but other than that, I mean, it's a very difficult block to get if all you're doing is placing it down for a single decoration. It's not even cool looking on its own, you know, like it's not a beacon or a spore blossom or anything of that nature, right? So personally, I, I'm not going to bother with it. I don't, I don't see myself using one at all. Yeah, I think that works out pretty well. Now, uh, 
I'm going to leave these and let this percolate for a little bit to see if I like them where they are before I do the final design on them. But as a proof of concept, we could probably try West Hill. I do need to make an armor stand. So we'll try West Hill and temporarily move the carpet. That's probably the best way to do it. Whoops. The fact that Z coordinates are backwards has always messed with me. Um, pose head. Nope. See, that to me doesn't make any sense. Why is it not responding? Jay Chris, hello, hello. Hope you're having a good day. So something like that would make sense, I think. We'll come up with some better ways to decorate it and um, 
I don't think dyeing it would make any sense. I feel like dark gray is just going to be harder to see. It's not bad. Could be worse. I guess we could go brown. That's a little bit more natural than the black, I think. Cool. So that's the idea. That's the plan. So as with a lot of these things, what I tend to do is if I'm not 100% sure on something, then I'll build it and I'll leave it there. And then as we work on these other corners, I'll be walking around and looking at this and kind of figuring out like what's what's going on. I'd say the only place that looks it looks a little bit funny coming from this direction i guess it's the only thing i mean it looks funny because when you get far enough away from it you can't see the signs like they don't show up but we'd have to double up like so for every sign we put this arrow on we'd have to do it on both sides so like it'll be cool looking but it'll be armor stand heavy I like that though. I think it looks cool. Although I didn't realize that the arrow had like an, a pixel that was off like that. It's strange. The things that you don't notice about this game, I guess because it looks good in, in the inventory. Oh, you know what it is? It's upside down. Because of the way that I rotated the head. Oh, no, it's not. No, that's right side up. Yeah, weird. I did want to try to see what signs would look like. I don't know whether this will work on ends like this or not. Just as something a little bit different. It's the kind of thing that looks good up close, but then when you get far away, it looks kind of dumb. So, never mind. I still have some concrete powder that I didn't need. I know how it goes, Guyver. I understand how Minecraft lays it out. The problem is that 
from a math perspective, if you're looking at it like a compass, it doesn't make any sense. From like an algebraic standpoint. I think the nice thing about the armor stands too is that from a distance when the text on the sign disappears, the arrows will still be there. So that'll be good. And I think the light is in a good position too. The brown sort of matches the brown over here. I don't remember how I designed the street lamps at the other location. How did that, those go? Seeing as we're stuck with the rain for now. And thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. So, not as fancy. They're just, just those, which are fine in and of themselves. They're not terrible. I need to do more of that, I think, along the road in some places. I like that. It's so much faster when you fly that. I know I walk it all the time. <laughs> Let's see how this feels coming up over the hill. Oh yeah, I think that works okay. If anything, this is distracting. Yeah, I think you get a lot of information right away. Like, you can see basically almost all of them. Like, from here you get to see all four directions without, like, having to walk all the way around. So, I like that. Once we finalize the designs, I think it'll look good. It might even be worth just to have this, say, East Road and then have the West Hill River in sign, like, over there. Or remove this and have, have this sign hang underneath it. Although if we do that, it'll be harder to see the West Hill sign. The real gloom of a medieval build, raining in shaders. I feel like we need some more light up in here. Although I guess it really wouldn't be super lit up in a gross rainstorm anyway. I like seeing little, more like that kind of pop of light as opposed to just seeing the lantern. It's more fun if you can just see light coming from somewhere. We could probably fix that. The dim lights in the distance are nice too. Oh, definitely a vibe for sure. You, re you want a real vibe, check this out. Along the river in the rain. It definitely has has that vibe feels like Assassin's Creed <laughs> Davy boy thank you very much I really appreciate it it's been a long time coming and it's nice to fi be finally putting in some of these environmental details in things that make the world feel lived in you know on your way up yeah I feel like this is gonna have to move over there somehow I don't want to get too carried away with these sections because, as you can see on the map, before I start doing these little greens, I want to make sure that the farms are done. 
before I start finishing up what's in between the road and the farm. So this is going to be fun. I'm not sure what we're going to put here. I want to say like pitcher plants or something would be fun. Uh, Davy Boy, not as of yet. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to make that available. I do want to invite some people over to do a tour um, when it's all done. Uh, I Pixel Rifts and maybe Flip or Friends, like just some, some online creator friends that I think would be fun to have come in and take a look at it after three and a half years of building it. Um, it's just a big ask because it's a lot. It's a lot to look at. So it'll, uh, we'll have to see. Yeah, this looks really good. I like that. This especially, I think, I think helps this area, this whole crossroads start to feel finished. So imagine this level of finish on all four corners. Um, we may not need this. This might be just dirt right up against the stone here. Because um, the original, this was originally here because we had put the signage here. But then over here... I can see this being more of a, a shortcut, right? Like I could easily see a shortcut coming across this way. Right, coming out to here. It just depends. If we can figure out what to do with a tree and all that kind of stuff, then that would be could be fun. Oh uh, yeah, the entire thing is all all solo, all me. Yep. Get up somewhere as high. I feel like there's some newer folks in chat. You can kind of get a good idea. So it started off in December of 2020 with the build I'm standing on, that front gate. And then we did the main road and these areas. And then I bridged. And then we did the East Market and everything over there. And then we swung around and we did all of the West part. And it's all pretty dense. Like there's a lot, there's a lot going on. A lot going on. This side is in particular really interesting because the buildings are all different colors and shapes and stuff. So when you come in through here, you've got like a little flower shop. And then there's more alleyways and different areas to get around in back here. And then the buildings start to be a little bit more interesting. But everything, like the groundskeeping, it's all done. Interiors are all done, with the exception of that tables and chairs data pack that keeps on screwing up. What's a really cool build over this way? I like the little leather shop. This is the leather armor spot, I think it's cool. And we spent the last several months actually finishing up things like rivers, river banks. They've all been kind of custom tagged and tweaked and things. Different cliffs and all that stuff. It's been a lot of fun. It's been nice to just have a project to log in and do every single time you play Minecraft. Like there's still lots going on. But uh, we're not quite there. We've expanded the tasks beyond the town because the town felt kind of plunked in the middle of the landscape. So what's left is really this area here. And it looks like a lot, but there's a lot of just empty grass and there's a lot of fields that are not going to be requiring a whole lot of variety it's just going to be laying out fields like you see here and then just planting and waiting and that'll cover things up so i think the biggest challenge is actually going to be this crossroads i think figuring out what's going to go in this space and this space are going to be the, the hardest because we've got the marsh the marsh kind of takes up a nice chunk and i don't want to make it bigger because this it's this is a lot of work this took forever but trying to figure out what's happening over here. 
it's going to be challenging. I feel like we could add a tree or two, but it's, they're going to have to be custom, I think. And of course, we've not done these riverbanks because the farms aren't finished. So before we do any of all this stuff, uh, there is going to be a waterfall over there, but all of the farms need to be done first. Davy boy, thank you very much. And yeah, it's, you know, it's, I, I always make sure I put a big asterisk whenever I talk about, you know, being able to do this myself over three years is that you gotta remember this is part of my job. You know, like I'm a full-time podcaster and streamer. It's about 50, 50. And so four days a week, give or take, you know, the last three years, I've been really consistent with it. And I can do that because of you fine folks that support me and, it would be a lot harder if I had a nine to five and I was playing Minecraft like in my own time. There, this would be nowhere near the progress that I have because I would, I probably wouldn't be able to log that kind of time. But anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for today. I'm going to pass you all along to somebody else playing Minecraft because we were uh, re the recipient of a couple of raids today. Uh, let's see who's hanging on Minecraft. Uh, Megabyte is live. We can send you all on to Megabyte. Megabyte does use some adult language, just FYI. Nothing crazy, but, you know, she's an adult, so she talks like one. So if you have small humans sitting on your lap, just be aware of that before you go over there. Um, but she's a riot. I think you will very much enjoy your time with Megabyte. If you want more of me and more of the stuff that I do, check out joelduggan.com. You can also follow the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcast on your favorite podcasting platform. They're available everywhere. They're free. If you enjoy them, please hit that subscribe button, whether it's YouTube or iTunes or Spotify, wherever. Uh, it does a huge amount to help us out and it costs you nothing. Uh, so if you like those shows, then uh, give them a like or a subscribe on whatever platform. Check out Joel Duggan on social media for notes when I go live. Twitter and Instagram stories is where I post when I'm live. Also, I give my Discord a heads up. So if you are supporting on Patreon, that's Joel Duggan on Patreon. If you're supporting uh, via Twitch here with a sub, then you'll get access to the Discord and you get a heads up when I go live as well. There's usually a tag. Uh, Twitch tags are late, often. We've had people come in saying, hey, I just got the notification that you're live and we're like an hour into the stream. So the Discord is definitely the best way. Uh, or Twitter. You know, like those, those are definitely the, the fastest way. Uh, but I don't know if you can set up notifications on Twitter. You can set up notifications on Instagram stories though. So you can, if you want to know when I go live, then you can use that. I don't always post Minecraft stuff on Instagram. It's usually dinner or hiking or things like that. Uh, but you can check that out. Uh, anyway, we uh, accomplished the sign or at least the, the blueprint for the sign. We'll work out some of the details of the writing later, but I think we've got a, a decent start to the crossroads and I'll pick this up tomorrow. That'll be Friday. Tomorrow's Friday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One o'clock Atlantic. That's uh, UTC minus four hours. So enjoy your time with Megabyte and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.